All right, fellas, today, take apart one of these. I'm gonna fix this one because it does not work still. This is a little cheap Chinese one, as you can tell. She's had a pipe on her literally once, and that's the tilt you get to it. You get the old uh, Bill Clinton sees Monica Lewinsky tilt. Off to the right. Show you what I did to try to fix it. It's almost fixed. It just needs a better spring. Right now, the spring in it's too loose, so it doesn't like to engage all the time. Then you switch directions on it, and sometimes it'll it'll skip. So, okay, that spring's not very good in there. I have plenty to choose from because I don't throw this kind of stuff away. Matter of fact, if a printer goes out or something like that, I steal all the springs out of it and throw them in this little guy. Just trying to get this fancy tip here made. You can see it has the hole there for the spring to set inside and then it's rounded. It was drilling through. Went too far and then when I pulled it out, I, I mashed the crap out of it with the old post vise so it wouldn't have worked anyway. So I made another one. I did it on the old uh, handy dandy hand lathe. But it's a spring retainer. Get that tip off there. Get it up around the edge there and slide it all the way around. Got to slide it around a few times. Pop this off. The whole thing comes apart. This next part is tricky. What I do is line this up so it's flat. And there's no tension on it. And you got to pry this top piece out. But be careful because there's a spring in there that's going to shoot one way or the other. And this is the most frustrating part. Okay, so she just fell apart. I tried to stick that little spring in there. It just wasn't having it. Yeah, on to the new and improved. So this one has a through hole. This is the first piece I made. It was too short. You can see light in between there, so that's way too short. So I had to make another one, and it took me a little bit of grinding on the old hand lathe to get her to fit just right. But she's she's flush in there now. That fits just right now. And now for this here tricky pot. What I did last time was push it in from the back side. Yeah, you heard me right. Push it in from the back side. Put our hole there. Hold it there. That may be too much spring, but we're going to go ahead and shove it in there anyway. This little nipple, the rounded piece, has to point towards the gears here so it can slide back and forth in there and actually do its job on popping the right gear teeth out, the right side of the paw. You want to squeeze these two together while you push that nipple down. Ah, here, Jay Epstein. Come on, baby. Yeah, these little pliers here, it says installing tool, M81969 forward slash 8 dash 01. I don't have any idea where you get these. They are made in USA. Service Tool Incorporated, 1381 Northeast 25th Ave, Hillsboro, Oregon, 97124, 503, 640. 3645. Call them up. Get you one of these. These things are excellent. But anyway, let's get back to putting this thing together. Yeah, I do not know what happened to this one. I know is when I got it, it didn't have this piece, the spring, or the little nipple thing in it. I had to make my own. Put her back together, get her back in work in order. Ah. 
that's how you take her apart upgrade it and uh, put it back together again as always like comment share subscribe love hate hard knocks forge gmail.com don't send me any paintings because they never fit <laughs>